Hey everyone, this is Silverbane here. Just making a quick video and demonstration on what I've been doing on the Silver's Creed server um, that I work on, and I thought this would be helpful to a bunch of people who have been trying to create like dungeons or random spawn points for uh, dungeons in their servers. And uh, basically, just want to walk through a couple things that I've been able to create using variable triggers mixed with command helper um, and command book and uh, world edit so uh, and essentials actually sorry missed one but basically uh, d I'll give more details for anybody who's interested in this feature but just uh, go ahead and start I'll give you some examples of how this is created and kind of a quick walkthrough so um, first things first uh, you can see down here I have three command blocks and each one have a label one says create one mob spawn point the other one says create two mob spawn points and then ten mob spawn points and each one only has one command block um, but basically this is going to be just a quick example of what you can do using uh, my new plugin that I've actually created almost in, in a server standpoint rather than a plugin by itself um, if I get more interest in it, I actually might create a standalone plugin that you can install. But right now, it's actually using a combination of other people's plugins. All right, so first thing I'm going to show you is just a quick example of one mob spawn point. So I'm going to go ahead and let's say you're in a you're in a dungeon, and instead of having a lever here, you have a pressure plate or some sort of trap. Um, what you can do then, as soon as this gets activated it'll actually create um, monsters. So you can see right here I've got one mob spawned and then another mob spawned with a delay of three seconds in between. And I go ahead and kill these. And then that's basically an example of one spawn point because it was in the exact same spot create two monsters. Um, and if I actually go over here and I can show you how that's done. So as soon as the redstone is activated and then hits this command block, it runs this command. And this is a custom command created using essentials and command helper along with variable triggers. This part right here is actually essentials, which is a pseudo command to run it as a player. This right here is a command helper to run an alias. Um, and this right here is the very... It's in the alias, the name of the alias, which is Trap Mob, is what I've created. And this is how many spawn points. So here I have only one spawn point. This is the variable triggers script that I've created that will actually run this, the mobs, uh, the spawning of the mobs. And then once again, this is who's running that, so the player, because you want that to be always that. And then you can see that I'm doing an at P and uh, a nearest player of radius of six because I don't want it to grab somebody too far away. So this will make it so that if you know the radius isn't <clears throat> attached to this, the it won't run at all, and therefore you won't have any problems with people, you know, like a monster running over it or something and and making it go off. Um, here is the first number that we have on this list, which is a distance check, which I didn't show you yet, but basically what it does is it says if they're 10 blocks away, stop spawning mobs. So if you spawn several mobs at a higher loop point, it won't just constantly spawn mobs if they're not there. So I have a distance of 10, I have a pause of 2 seconds in between, and I ha or no, sorry, I have a loop of 2, so it goes, it goes distance, loop, and then pause, a pause of three seconds between each loop, and then what to spawn. So I'm going to spawn a zombie, and I'm going to spawn one zombie, and then this is the relative location right here, the 232, two, of where the zombie is compared to the command block. So it's going to look for the command block, it's going to find the command block, and it's going to say, okay, I'm going to spawn at two, and then I'm going to go up three, and then I'm going to spawn it to this direction. And then that puts it upstairs, the relative location. What that allows you to do is actually be able to copy and paste this with world edit anywhere. And as long as you have a schematic file, and people can share these schematic files, 
it doesn't matter where you paste it inside your your thing as it'll work so it's, you don't even need a whole world file you just need a schematic file now and you can have these awesome dungeons with these custom built spawn points i've done the same thing with traps um and a couple other things gates opening up gates and stuff like that and i'll, I'll go into that more if people are interested once again just put a comment on my youtube video or um you know, send me some information. I've just kind of started becoming public with a lot of this stuff and haven't really released a lot of it yet. But um, just let me know if you're interested. I'll keep working on it and make it a little bit easier for people to install and get over there. So, all right. So that's uh, the example of the command block running one spawn point. I'm going to go ahead and try to, you know, get through the rest pretty quick. Here is two mob spawn points created off of one command block. And this is actually some cool custom mobs I've created. You can see that it got spiders, one with a zombie and the other one with a skeleton. And you see it looped and now there's a bunch of them. So kill these guys really quick. I'm just going to go ahead and um, have them burn. Uh, kill the spiders really quick. But yeah, I mean, it's, you can make some cool custom mobs. Um, I'm working on different plugins like Epic Boss. Um, I'm working with the guy with Epic Boss to make it so that you can create Epic Bosses using these command block functions, um, allowing you to put those into your dungeons as well. Um, so there you go. You got a cool, um, quick example of that. And then I am going to show you guys... Um, how that works so it's basically two mob spawn points so here you can see that all I did was in the end of the script I added um, another set so I said you know one set is spider zombie and there's a relative location for the spawn point how many there are and the other one is a spider skeleton um, so a spy, uh, skeleton right in a spider and you can just put whatever you want in those things as long as you use the correct mob types in, the, in that section and then um, right here, the only other thing you have to add is you have to change this from a 1 to a 2 right after the trap mob. And uh, yeah, so that's a cool feature I added there. And I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick what happens if you run out of the space. So for example, this next one I'm going to show you is 10. And if you can see, there's, there's a lot, but it's trap mob 10. Um, which is the most I've done and I'm actually going to go ahead and change the distance to 5 so what I can do is I can walk away and end this thing before it spawns a bunch of monsters so it's 10 monsters um, and you can see there's quite a bit of them and I'm going to go ahead and move up top here run it really quick and there it goes. And all this text will disappear. It's all for my testing purposes right now If, you, if when we're doing it. But there it goes. So it's, it's spawning 10 mobs. But let's say I don't want it to spawn 10 more. I can walk away. And then after 25 seconds, as long as I'm far away enough, which I, I mean I put the distance to 5, so this should be far away enough, it'll actually give me a message that it canceled in a moment here and uh, won't be running again. So... And that would be nice for like people who, who are afraid that this would crash the server and people would just, you know, have a high amount of loop and, you know, they're too far away, it would keep on going, but not in this case. So you can see that it, it canceled out and we don't have to worry about issues like that. So we're kind of happy about um, being able to add that for people so we don't have that problem. So anyway, so that's a cool feature I have. Um, up to 10 spawn points with one command block. So here's a quick little um, preview on something that I'm adding to my server, which is basically a random monster town that's created with epic bosses. And this will basically allow me to um, have, <coughs> with those traps, I can copy this into a schematic, um, paste it in my world randomly, um, based off of certain features that um, if you're on my server, you'll actually figure out what those are. Um, but basically, if you have monsters around your town and you're not killing them, they actually gather together and create these these awesome dungeons. So once you kill the epic boss, the entire town starts blowing up, and it's pretty cool to watch and everything. But they have their own jumping puzzles. They have their own traps that will actually throw you into other parts where then you'll get attacked by mobs um, and certain epic bosses using those command blocks. So fully featured, copy and paste, save as schematic, can be shared with people, and um, just a feature that I think a lot of people would be interested in. Um, and I'm going to, you know, once again, 
My name is Silvers Bain, so you can actually find me on the Bucket Forums. You can also find me um, just by putting some uh, comments in the YouTube video. And if you're interested in joining my server, just let me know. All right. Nice talking with everyone. Hope you enjoy.